What is up guys, welcome into this new video of TechPress. I'm going to be showing you how to create an ebook to sell into Amazon. So in order to get started guys, welcome guys to TechPress once again, my name is Steven. So uh, what I wanted to do in order to get started is to go into the kdp.amazon.com. So whether you have an Amazon account or you're not, this is going to be essential to create an account as a Kindle Direct Publishing. So this is how we're going to be starting to sell our stuff. So once we are in here, you want to go into sign in using your Amazon account. And here, as you can see, I'm already in the create, the manage and the published inside the Kindle. So once we are in here, it's going to be appearing here. Your Kindle is going to be appearing here. How it's going to be looking at uh, your actual stuff. And then later on, you can start to sell your actual ebook. So how do we get started by managing the e the actual place to create a Kindle ebook? What I did is to went to Canva. So here in Canva.com, we can choose any kind of templates. And we can choose this template to, I mean, not to copy, but to take the inspiration of how we can start to create some uh, ebook. So for example, we have something about clouds. We have something about fantasy ebook cover. There's a lot of covers that you can choose here. So based on what you like the most, you can choose uh, the option and then later on, you can just use that as a template. So you can, I'm going to get into uh, personalize this actual template. So then later on, uh, as you can see, I'm now inside the section of the editor of the actual Canva. So now what I wanted to do now that I'm here, we have the ebook. So uh, automatically, the element, the size is going to be already been uploaded. I don't have to worry about the dimensions, but just in case you have any question about the dimensions, you can go into your Kindle Direct Publishing. I want to go into the Create, and here into this Create part, you can see they have a Create book, the book timelines, the tools and resources. So if you guys, if I go into Create a book, we have the Enter the book details, upload and preview ebooks. I want to focus into the Enter book details. So as you can see, I have the update your book detail page. And as you can see, what I just needed to do is to figure out what are the actual uh, ebook dimensions to actually look great in my Kindle. So if I go into focus into my tools and resources, I'm going to close this option. I have the manual formatting resources. This is how it's going to be looking my Kindle paperback and the hardcover. So step by step got pages. What do you want to do? The format written in Word, the calculate as ebook dimensions, the calculate royalties and priority costing, the template, the guide, the tool, the PC, or a Mac. What is the actual dimension that I need to do? The image radio, the size, the color profile, the borders, and all that. So uh, I want to focus into this option that says 2560 by 16. So if I focused here into my template, uh, here the actual size is. 512800. So what I want to do is to hit into resize. And here into resize, I wanted to go here and let's go and type these actual elements that was 2560. And then later on, I wanted to go with 1600. I'm going to hit now into resize. This is how it's going to be looking my actual uh, ebook. So this is like two pages, right? So now I'm going to get down here. I have the image ratio, I have the size, the color profile, and the borders. So if you have any question, what you can do is to download the content guidelines that we need to create our cover. Meanwhile, we are doing this. What I wanted to do is to get started with my Kindle ebook. As you can see, I use a Kindle template, so I don't have to mess around with all the actual uh, information about the timelines, the book, the tools, the resources, just focus into the very um, important part of the video, which is the actual creation. So as you can see, here is page number one. I have the out of time and management and work, planning and strategy, and staying sane for your startup business. So I do this totally for free using Canva, using some templates, and instead of choosing Tasha Walker, let's go and type our... Um, of course, our company name and here let's go and instead of basic outlets so let's go with chapter one. Let's go and delete this. Let's go with your D. Uh, what I want to do is to hit into this actual grid view. So what I can do is to duplicate this page or I can just type control D. Let's say four times. Why four times? Because I want to use this element or let's go chapter two. And the next page should be chapter number three. 
and so on and on. So in my case, I'm just going to focus into four chapters. And inside those chapters, I'm going to get started with a script here. So I want to use this template for the content of each chapter, or I can use this one. So I can select this option, and I'm going to move this inside my chapter. So inside this chapter, inside this chapter, what I wanted to do is to, let's say, add more elements. I'm going to duplicate this page once again. And then I'm going to exactly, I'm going to use exactly the same elements so I can put those inside each chapter because this is what I'm going to do into my actual book. Tell a chapter to uh, pages like this. And there we go. So uh, latest. So now, um, as you can see, this is something like really, really easy that I have done so far. The last part, which is just like the end of the video, the end of my book here. Let's go where last thoughts. Delete this part, of course. And there we go. So this is only a template example. Of course, you can take your time to impose your information about uh, your content. And I can strongly recommend you that just in case that you are just getting started with creating an ebook, you can always consult your Microsoft Edge just in case that you have a Windows and you are able to consult Microsoft Edge. Here into Microsoft Edge, what I can totally suggest to you is to go, I'm going to hit now into next. I'm going to leave this. I want to focus into my chat section. So this chat is actually powered by the technology of ChatGPT number four. So I don't have to pay absolutely anything and ChatGPT number four is gonna be helping me to get started with almost any kind of stuff. So let's say that I want, you just type into the ChatGPT, I want to write a book, but I think I am a newbie. Tell me, the basics, the, the basic rules for write a book, and maybe a few tips. So I hit now into enter, and ChatGPT number four is gonna be helping me to get started with the actual book. It start with the actual content, uh, what do I need to write, maybe a few tips, and then later on, as you can see, there are several basic rules you can follow, uh, by written a book, for example, here have write every day, read wisely, widely, sorry, write what you know, write what you love, write your first, uh, love first, if you wrote this, I hope this helps. So there we go. So I just use this element to get started with my actual book. So once I've finished my content, I can now start to publish this. So I'm going to go back here into my Brave. I want to hit into share. I download this, of course, as a PDF file, all the elements as a PDF file. I can go back into the Amazon Kindle. I hit into create, and this is the part when you wanted to fill all your information. Let's go, let's go ahead into um, Kindle ebook. Here is create Kindle ebook. And here, what I want you to do is to type the language, the book title, the subtitle, the series, the edition number, the author, the contributors, all your information right there. And then later on, you wanted to go into the save as a draft. You hit into save and continue. And lastly, here into your keyboards is going to be appearing your dashboard. It's going to be appearing the estimate royalties of how much money you have earned so far, how many orders you got, the KDBP read, the last 30 days. You have your tools here of your royalties estimator, your orders, the promotions, pre-orders, your box show, community, and marketing tools. Marketing is going to be helping you to help you to get more resources to enroll an actual ebook. And then later on, you can use maybe Amazon ads. You can use the Author Central. Uh, a lot of tools that can be helping you to get started with some book promotion. And uh, it's actually really, really great to get started for people who love to read, to write, and of course, sell your stuff into Amazon. It's not going to be taking you any kind of money but invest in your actual time. So with that being said, guys, I think we now covered the basics. You now know how to get started with the KDP, Amazon.com. Take your time to write your actual content. The content is the key to actually make some sales and to have a successful book. So thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I will see you on the next video.